okay welcome to another video guys in today's video we're going to be looking at how to feed honeybees using a sugar solution the mixture that we have here or that we are preparing is mixed at a ratio of one to one that is one part sugar to one part water now some people mix it two to one that's a good ratio especially now it is winter that's the best ratio however we are going to do the one to one method today so if you're looking at if you're looking at it by volume if you have a half bucket of sugar it will be a half bucket of water that's a one to one if you look it looking at it as per pound you could work it out because one gallon of water would be eight pounds so that would be eight pounds of sugar to one gallon of water so if you want to mix say 16 pounds of sugar you would have to use 16 pounds of water which is two gallon and so forth however when you're in the field the best thing to do is mix it per volume or using the volumetric measurement so we're going to use a one-to-one -one, so therefore we use our own quarter bucket of sugar to quarter bucket of water all right so we're going to move from here you can see the gentleman there actually mixing out the solution so that you don't have any um, lump or any sugar particles remaining because you want the bees to get the sugar within solution so we are here again and we are going to proceed to the apron to commence the feeding process they are actually smoking the entrance of the hive to calm down the bees a bit before we proceed to open it Remember the solution was mixed a one to one ratio and you don't want to mix it less than a one to one ratio because if it mixes thinner than that then the bees will have difficulty taking up the solution so you always want to go a one to one or even a two to one ratio that, is be the, that would be the ideal ratio Summer now is winter so the bees have to be fed because they don't really have a lot of trees flowering so that the bees can collect nectar naturally so we want to feed them so that they can survive the winter if you can see around you don't see a lot of trees with any bloom so we're gonna go over so I can't tell me when you're ready We are at a school by teacher school in I. So these are actually students. This is a part of their vocational ob um, optional vocational option, which is agricultural science. All right, wait a little, so we can capture. Right, so they are actually pour the, the sugar solution into the feeder and this feeder is made standard size of a frame so it can be fit in the hive just like that
And if you are curious as to how these feeders were made, you can actually leave a comment in the comment section and I will respond to you. So Mr. Kane, how often do you feed the bees? Guys, so remember, feeding your bees is a way of allowing the bees to survive over the dirt period and the period actually runs from around August there about all the way up to spring next year. And just before spring we call that the honey flow during, during that period where you have a lot of trees blooming so during that time you don't necessarily have to feed because the bees will be able to forage for their own food right now we're just feeding them to ensure their survival over the winter as you can see this one is a very strong and very, very active Hey guys, thank you for watching. Remember, if you like this video, please leave a like and leave a comment in the comment section. Stay tuned for more interesting videos like this.